Hey there, my name is Lucius LaFramboise. I am a software sales and development engineer here at ENG Suite. Uh, today we're going to be continuing our talk on QE Suite and the functions involved. And this is part of the normality module. And we're going to look at the Dark Barra normality test. So this is also called the skewness kurtosis because it uses the skewness kurtosis. Um, so generally your organization will have a um, priority ranking of which tests to do. Uh, Dark Barra usually lands on the lower side, so that's one of the last ones you do. If you just keep failing, um, generally you'll do a Dark Barra just hoping that you can get something that says, okay, we can use our data. Um, it's not as sensitive as Anderson Darling, but it is here. It is there for you to use uh, because it's still important. So data, data to evaluate, name, we're familiar, return as object, hide graph, really not a, not a whole lot new. So we're going to do qe.jarkbarra equals qe.jarkbarra. We're going to select our data. And we're just going to do false. And we're going to not, we're going to hide our graph. And the reason is, just trying to show you this. OK, so jarkbarra p-value. So this is your jarkbarra's test statistic. This is your p-value. Um, your organization should have um, some sort of criteria as to how they will evaluate whether or not the um, the test passed. So just make sure that you're, you look through your documentation. Usually a p-value is um, 0.05. It's got to be greater than 0.05 for it to pass this. Just make sure that you know what that is for your organization. Thank you so much. Have a great day, and please do something awesome.